The old truck makes the same position as the dog when they take a piss on a tree. Same thing. Oh, oh don't go off road then. No. No. What's up everyone, I'm Azap, happy new video, we are back again with Mombazoo. By the way guys, thank you so much for the huge support on the previous episodes, I really appreciate that. And if you are new to the channel, make sure guys to subscribe and hit that like button, it really helps a lot. Basically, when I see the old truck like that, the old truck makes the same position as a dog when it take a piss on a tree, same thing. And for sure later, we gotta get it back to normal look, not this one. And the point from this episode, I wanna show you how to make money in this game, basically how to grind. Because many people are struggling to make money in this game but it is very simple and easy and i'm gonna give you some tips guys that i wish i knew before i played this game so make sure to watch this video till the end so basically you just started the game and you only had 100 bucks you didn't have too much money and before you do anything make sure guys to raise your friendship with everyone so the first one is gonna be your mother you're gonna call her each day so you can get something special i don't want to spoil it for you and each character in this game is gonna help you with something so make sure to increase your friendship with everyone let's get back to the Business. So you're gonna find the empty gas canister in the small shack and you will find also I think the shovel and the chainsaw Of course guys you have to take the gas canister with you because you're gonna refill it and you're gonna use it for many things Like the electricity for the house and the log cutting machine after you drop the gas canister in the old truck Make sure to head to the city and go to Cali gas and if you made it to Cali gas Make sure guys to buy this tool pruning loppers when I started this game I made a huge mistake when I did cut some trees with the chainsaw I thought like they're gonna grow automatically but that was wrong. Before you cut any tree, make sure guys to use this tool. And you will have this small piece so you can plant it again. So we're gonna drop this one right there and we're gonna plant this one next to it. By the time she will grow and you can use the pruning lopper for it and you can cut it. After we use the pruning lopper, we're gonna use the chainsaw so we can take down the tree. Let's do the second step. Okay, we're good. Let's drop this one right there. And I believe in this game, each log has a different price. So we're gonna see it together. We're gonna take two logs, we're gonna cut one, and we're gonna leave one like that. In this game, there is three types of trees. There is the maple tree, there is the birch, and there is the pine. I think the pine costs a lot. We will see about that. Let's use the quad bike. Why have to go back again? Using the quad bike is gonna be a little bit faster. Okay, let me take this log right there. Okay, we good. Let's go. We made it back. Okay, let me drop this one right there. Turn this thing off. Park and brake. The lock cutter machine, it needs some fuel to work. And I think, yeah, she's full. And let's turn it on and let's start it. Let me grab the first log. Let's get this one done. Okay, now let's turn it off. With this firewood, you can sell it to your brother Francis and make some money. And I want to take like three type of logs so I can see how much money they can get me. We got the birch, we got the pine, and let's get the maple tree. Where's the maple tree? Yeah, this one. And also, we can sell the logs in the sawmill in the city. And to do this job, make sure guys to have the old truck with you because it's going to be a lot easier, you know, to pick all the logs and drop it in the flatbed. After that, you bring it to the machine so you can cut it. And if you want to sell it to the sawmill, you don't need to cut anything. Before we take this thing, we have to get it back to normal. Leo, what the hell are you doing there? Now guys, we got the old truck and let's load everything in the flatbed. Let me turn it off, park and brake, let's get out. We dropped everything. And now let's talk about the sugar shack. To build this thing, I think you need like 64 pine logs. And another reminder, make sure guys, before you cut any pine trees, use the proning loppers first. And also this small factory, it is really good way to make money in this game, but you have to start from the zero. Basically the old machine of this one, it works with the firewood. And you have to start with one barrel. You can buy it from Eric's Federation. And I believe one barrel it costs like $200. When I was grinding from this place I cut like many firewood and drop it right there and after that I go like save the game so I can pass some three hours and I see like the tank is full and after that I refill the barrel and I sell it so I can buy the second barrel and after that I can buy the third barrel and so I can have about maybe 12 barrels because in a day you can sell only 12 barrels and right there we got 12 barrels ready to sell to the federation and this trailer I bought it from the decoration store it really helps a lot. Back in the day I was fitting like the barrels in the back of the truck on each update dropped to the game like it made the game a little bit easier after you finish upgrading the car you can sell like the old parts like these i don't think that you're gonna use them again so we're gonna throw them in the back and i will show you where to sell it the only thing that i kept in the garage is the engine the rusty one right now guys we are going to my brother francis so we can sell him the firewood and make some money oh, oh don't go off road then no 
No! Guys, I don't care if I lose the barrels because I'm just showing you how to make everything. We made it to my brother Francis. Okay, guys, we're gonna start with the maple firewood and let's see how much we're gonna get. $8. Let's see about this one, the second one. The birch gave me $5. And how about the pine? $7. We can see that the maple tree gives more money. Now we're heading to the city so we can sell the logs. Now let's get back a little bit. You know, guys, when I told you you need to get some pruning lopper and some gas. So, guys, you have to go to the small shack and you can get the potato seed. I think in the house so we have like almost more than 100 so make sure to bring this one to your house i don't know guys if you see that guy he's sitting in the porch that guy can help you with something he can find you like the missing parts like the canister the chainsaw the shovel maybe the conic parts to find the sawmill you have to go always forward from there you can see like many logs right here so we have to take the right this is the sawmill we're gonna park the old truck right here now guys we're gonna start with birch okay we're gonna throw it in the green circle we got eight dollars now let's throw the pine log Fifteen dollars. How about the maple? Ten dollars. And now we can see like the pine logs it give us some good money. Now let's go to Eric's Federation so we can sell these barrels because they are glitching. And this is the place where you sell the full barrels with maple syrup. This is the barrel and that's the green circle. From one barrel we got two hundred dollars. I know we lost a couple of barrels in the way so we have to get them back. Like I said I forgot the potato seed and the pruning lovers and some gas. Don't get back home because we are going to the windmills and we can find something right there. Oh what the hell just happened there and we did flip the trailer one of the three windmills you can find like the weed seeds in it i don't know which one i don't remember exactly maybe that one maybe that one or maybe that one and you can find it at the top and make sure guys to bring it home because i will show later what you can do with it and we lost the parts right here god and now we are heading to the junkyard so we can sell the old parts and let's see how much money we can get from selling the old parts of the old truck let's leave the old truck right here that's perfect turn it off we don't have too much fuel park and brake we're gonna throw everything inside right there guys we lost only one leaf spring and let's see how much we can sell it total weight 70 kilograms let's see and we made 140 dollars and by the way when you start the game you can't enter the junkyard because it's already closed if you want to unlock the junkyard make sure guys to reach a good level with jack the owner of cali gas let's get back home and let me show you what you can do more when you get back home make sure guys to plant the seeds because it is very useful from one seed look how much i made by the way and we still have more look at this one right here we got 83 left and from the hashish seeds look how much i made from one we made like 197 and there is more right there maybe guys you ask me how to make money from selling the potato okay let me show you what you can do right here we got 100 of potato so we're gonna take it to the kitchen and we're gonna cut it we got the french fry cutter we're gonna make it full the frying basket is full and now we can pack it with this one and with this one we can sell it at the restaurant with the good money and same for the hashish i believe we got something right here yeah 40 percent. that's good that can make some small packs Drop it right there. Let's sit. Let's do this one. And right here we got the small pack. If you have 10 small pack, you can make a big pack like this one. Basically, you can sell the small packs to your friends, but this one you can sell it to the farm. So we're gonna drop this one in the old truck. This is the place that you're gonna sell the French fry packs. For one pack, you can get $200. And in this place, you can sell, I think, the small packs of hashish. I'm gonna give this one. Normally, he gave me $65. That's good. You're gonna give this one to Jack. And we gave one to Jack, and he gave me the same price $65. That's really good, to be honest. And I believe they don't accept the big packs. Oh, never mind. They do accept and he gave me like $500. Yeah, I was wrong about that one. And also you can sell it to the farm if you have more. For now, guys, we're gonna wait till 5 p.m. so we can take some orders. From there, we can deliver some pizza and we can make some money. The small circle appeared and let's go there. And we got three pizza to deliver. Okay, let me drop these in the pickup truck. Now we are going to the first location to deliver the pizza and we have to follow the arrow. Do we have to go out from the car? Never mind. We made $22. That's really good money. The arrow tells me to go this way nothing happened let's go to the circle we made 20 dollars 20 dollars okay that was good to be honest and the last thing to make money from is doing the legal street racing the racers will show up at 22 it means 10 p.m and not on every night there is like a black guard that's gonna show us in this place basically you can sell all the radios that you can find at the junkyard right there if you want to be a quick grinder make sure you guys to pass the time by sleeping or save the game with the computer or the console that can make the plants grow much faster and you can get more maple syrup and i believe that's the way to grind on this game i hope this video can help you in more Bazoo grinding boys that's it for today's episode i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to smash that like button share this with your fans also comment and don't forget to subscribe and hit the little button so don't miss out anything thanks for watching see you in the next video peace